So check this thing out. Paid $5.99 for this just today. Wireless thermometer. That is apparently new in the box. From Lacrosse Technology. We'll see what this is all about. I want to see how bad, if this thing really is new in the box, which I very highly doubt, because this thing seems to be, you know, something like that is too good to end up in a thrift store. It's open. And by golly, it is brand new in the box. Never opened. Unless they taped it shut, which it doesn't look like is the case. That really is brand new. Look at that. I can't believe somebody would have bought this and then donated it to a thrift store. It does say it's 915 megahertz, and I think they've been trying to get rid of that stuff in that band. So maybe, just maybe, that's the reason why or somebody had bought it years and years and years ago. I almost feel a little bad about opening it, but the truth of the matter is, this is probably not that old. Yeah, this isn't that old. It doesn't feel... It feels kind of cheap. Just a little cheap feeling to be that old. So, let me put this back on and we can hopefully try and read a little bit of what the box said. Wireless outdoor temperature range is from 39, minus 39.9 C to 59.9 C, although it doesn't say what it is in Fahrenheit, and that's kind of weird. And it also doesn't say what the indoor temperature range is. Min-max records for temperature and digital clock. Monitors temperature from two different locations. Outdoor temperature readings from the comfort of your home. Wireless thermometer by Lacrosse Technology. IT plus 915 megahertz. Instant transmission. Updates every four seconds. Extends battery life up to three times longer than the competition. There I'm presuming is the model. Sensor transmits data 330 feet or 100 meters. All right, what do we got on the back? So there's your features listing. Suggested uses. Monitor outdoor temperature, monitor refrigerator or freezer accuracy, storage room, wine cellar temperature, greenhouse, different room level. Ah, here we go. There is the uh, temperature sensor information. Can receive up to three remote sensors, although they only give you one. Battery lasts up to 24 months. We'll see. Receiver power, two... AAA batteries and sensor powers to AA batteries. All right, I hope I've got those. All right, so I just uh, read the manual and I know what they say. That real men don't need instructions, but I figure it's always good because you never know with these things. It appears as though they require that the batteries go into the remote sensor first. I managed to scrounge up enough batteries, hopefully to make this work. I don't know if I put those in right. Yeah, they're all right there correctly. So there's that one. And if I could put the lid back on it. There we go. Now for this thing. Remove this label before using. Don't mind if I do. Okay. See lacrosse technology. Let's insert the batteries in here. These aren't matched, but they are brand new, so both of them are brand new. At least pretty close too. Close enough for government work. Okay, it comes on, so it's not totally dead. Looks like it does actually have the remote sending unit. Alright, I believe that it's working. I took it and put it out in the hallway. So, I think it's doing its one job. Temperature display is fluctuating. What I could do, and what I'm planning on doing, is I might stick it 
in there. Maybe in a plastic bag so that at least it doesn't get rained on. Well, because it's not supposed to get rained on. I might stick it in a plastic bag. That might be an idea. The temperature is fluctuating, so I think it's working correctly anyways. Okay, so that still might be working, might not be. Maybe just barely. After a fashion, I got the damn thing to go in my window. And it turns out my window actually froze shut. Oops. Wasn't expecting to find that, but, uh... Oh well. So, we'll see how that works. I have it in a plastic bag, so uh, that way it doesn't get wet. And that piece of crap radio just turned itself on. Alright, you... Hush. Okay, and that radio is being dumb. Alright, so that temperature is dropping fairly quickly, which is what it should be doing. Eventually I'll have to figure out a more permanent place to put it. So let me see if I can put this thing in here. How this goes in, I don't really know. This could be take some doing. Alright, making a big assumption here that it is actually working, but it seems to be. What I might see is I might see if it'll that will still work if I put it over into the studio. It's certainly a lot warmer than 59 outside. It's more like close to zero. But uh, anyways, we'll see how this experiment works out. So, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then.